This is a short video that gives you a look at the parallel park site side procedures that are going to be required for the CDL Class A license. Now the standardized instructions are as follows. It says drive straight ahead past the entrance to the parallel parking space with your vehicle parallel to the parking area, then back into the parking space. You are allowed two free pull-ups and may exit the vehicle a maximum of two times to check behind the vehicle during this exercise. Your vehicle must be completely within the space when completed. Then set your parking brake and sound your horn when you have completed the exercise. And then you're going to be asked if you have any questions. Pause the video. Here the exercise begins. The truck drives straight ahead and remains parallel to the parking space until the back of the trailer clears the last row of cones. Very similar to the parallel park conventional. trailer must be past the cones before you can begin the exercise. To start the exercise, since the trailer goes to the left, you want to steer hard to the right. Once again, you're looking in the driver's side mirror and you're lining up both drive axles to the midpoint of the landing gear structure. Kind of gives you a reference point of how many degrees you want to articulate the vehicle. Once you hit that spot, counter steer completely in the opposite direction all the way back to the left and then just put the tractor back straight in front of the trailer. Once you're straight you'll be able to see the right side and the left side. Now looking in your passenger side mirror you're looking at the back row of cones and you want to line up to about the center part of that row. You're going to back up until the back trailer axle on the passenger side rest on top of the boundary line. Once you feel like you're sitting in that position, get out, shut the door behind you, and look back there to see if the passenger side is on that line. You don't want to go in too deep. You also want to make sure both drive axles are past the forward portion of the parking space. Now you'll get back in the vehicle, continue to back, and once again you're watching the driver's side, both drive axles, and you want to go back to the point where the yellow line is just exposed in front of that front axle. Now you're going to counter steer all the way back to the right and now put the front of the vehicle inside the parking space. I wasn't happy with the amount of distance that the drive axles went into the parking space so I simply pulled out, steered to the right, then I'm going to steer back to the left and, and then move both drive axles into the space a little bit farther closer to the cones and then counter steer all the way back to the right and finish by putting the front of the vehicle in the parking space. Once I'm lined up and straight I'm going to stop. Straighten the wheels out and then get out and look. I'm going to walk to the back of the trailer. I want to make sure that I haven't went too far and I'm also looking at the left side and the right side. I'm just checking all four sides of the vehicle to make sure that it's completely in the space. That's what's required for this exercise. Now at the back of the trailer, I'm satisfied that I didn't go back too far and the position is perfect for this exercise. then I'll honk the horn as an indicator that I'm finished.